Welcome to A Course in Miracles with a little Pono Pono lens. We're on lesson 280 out of the workbook section. What limits can I lay upon God's Son, whom God created limitless, is free. I can invent imprisonment for him, but only in illusions, not in truth. No thought of God has left its father's mind. No thought of God is limited at all. No thought of God, but is forever pure. Can I lay limits on the child of God, whose father will that the child be limitless, his child be limitless, and like himself in freedom and in love? We have free will, so yes, we can lay limits on the child of God, but why would we want to? Today, let me give honor to your child, for thus alone I find the way to you. Father, I lay no limits on the child. You love, and you create it limitless. The honor that I give to him or her is yours, and what is yours belongs to me as well. So we don't want to place limits on ourselves, and we don't want to place limits on other people. That's why in the Bible, it says we have to take every thought under the captivity of Christ, the Christ consciousness. Um, when I look at Christ, I'm not looking for a man to save me. I'm looking at embodying the Christ consciousness. There's the ego thought system versus the Christ consciousness, the Christ thought system, divinity's thought system. And we want to take every thought under captivity. If someone is coughing in your presence, do you say, oh my goodness, I'm going to catch a cold. You shouldn't be saying that. You should be saying to yourself, I am made in the image and likeness of God and God is nothing but health. He is all good, all health, and therefore I will reflect that health. For instance, so um, what happens if you're finding yourself in limitations? Well, you can forgive it because that's an illusion. You can do um, Ho'oponopono or you can rewrite your mind using these principles in A Course in Miracles. Doing Ho'oponopono, whatever the limits you have placed on yourself and even on others, you can say to divinity as you're thinking of those limitations, I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you, thank you, or I love you, I love you, I love you, or thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we really want to be conscious and aware of how we think about other people, and that was brought to me today. Um, I have an acquaintance, and I was like, he's not at my level, and I um, had to repent or forgive that thought because I put it out there that he's not at my level, quote unquote. And you know, what does that even mean? Number one, number two, why is he not at my level? He can still be at my level, even though he may not be exhibiting certain qualities at the moment. So we don't want to hold people we don't want to make their personality a solidity. We want to hold them in the highest and best regard in their Christ nature. And so I'm learning that um, for other people who I hold in my heart, who's who I think about, and also for myself. How can I hold myself in the best possible light? as a child of God, as a child of divinity made in the image and likeness of God. Because what we believe is what we're going to see. So we want to see the best and be the best. <sighs> I think that is it for today. And I uh, know and trust and believe that you're having a beautiful day wherever you're at in the world. Talk to you later. Bye.